Christopher Columbus, the founder of the United States, was drunk the entire time he sailed at sea. What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode in Bottled and Bond on Monday Madness. I hope your Monday was great. I know mine was, but if it was, you might as well celebrate. And if it wasn't, you might as well celebrate that you're home. Today on Monday Madness, we are going to go back to Jefferson's. We reviewed Jefferson's weeks back and I wasn't too fond of their whiskey. But today, we're gonna check out their ocean aged at sea. Jefferson's Ocean aged at sea is coming in at 45% alcohol by volume, making it a 90 proof. Little history about this one is that Trey teamed up with Chris Fisher of Osearch. They determined with only three barrels that they were gonna see what would happen if you aged whiskey out at sea for a certain specific time through all the weathering, through the salt, the air, the rocking of the ship, for a certain period of time, see what it you know came out to be and what it tasted like. Now, although it started with three barrels, because of the demand, Trey has since commercialized the experiment, and now he has hundreds of different barrels all over the sea in different ships. A typical barrel of Jefferson's Ocean will usually cross the equator about four times, according to their website, and it'll hit about 30 different ports and about diff five different continents or so. This is all what they're saying on their website. I cannot prove it, obviously. I don't work with the company, or and I am not part of Oat Search. This is Voyage uh, 17. They did state that at one point there was a cask strength that came out from one of their latest releases, although the mash bill is undisclosed. One of their latest releases does say that it's a weeded bourbon, still with an undisclosed mash bill. From the looks of it, it's roughly a four-year bourbon. Nonetheless, let's open it up. That's bourbon, baby. I've been curious about the ocean version of Jefferson's ever since I had the first one because the small bass just wasn't uh, wasn't cutting it for me. So I've been very curious to see what uh, Ocean had to deliver, especially at its price. Depending on where you live at, you're looking at anywhere between fifty to sometimes even I've seen it for 70 bucks. So just uh, make the right determination whenever you're buying it. And maybe on this video, you could uh, decide whether you are gonna go on the market and buy it. On this bourbon, you pick up a lot of the same notes that I've been talking about for the past few weeks, except they are robust. I'm noticing that the honey and the caramel and the brown sugar, a little mash, it's, it's not overwhelming, but it's, it's there and it's so vibrant. I'm picking a little a little bit of an apple cider like note. A little bit of a barley with almost like a uh, wooden oak malted charred cask. Very nutty, like pecans. A little bit of a bread yeast, kind of like a yeasty dough. All sweet notes. You know what I'm gonna do? Just to make it real quick, I'm gonna pour a little bit of the regular Jefferson's small batch and compare them to. Just a little bit. Oh my gosh, you can tell the difference. It is such a huge difference. This is the small batch and this is the H-C. Although I didn't pour that much, this is the small batch, this is the H-C. It's really hard to tell from you guys' perspective, but the H-C is definitely a little bit darker. And on the notes, liquor man this is whiskey this is whiskey with a little bit of sugar this is rich robust bourbon notes that i'm getting here it's it's a sweet bourbon it's a sweet whiskey i'm not fond of it the ocean has more of a bite especially on the back end of your palate you still get some of the notes maybe just a little bit of honey a little bit of that brown sugar nutty wooden charred cask flavor let's forget about Jefferson small batch. The ocean has a good spice to it. It's a 90 proof. And usually when it comes to 90 proofs, 
the Knob Creeks that I've had, the Knob Creek 90 proof, that has a good spice, robust, like pepper, dark flavors. This 90 proof is a little bit more mellow, not exactly cast strength and not as spicy as other 90s that I've had, which makes it easier to drink. The honey and, and the little apple cider I was picking up, a little bit of dough yeast, all that is still there in your palate, but it's, it's more of a dark, mellow, sweet way of calling this a bourbon. It wouldn't be my go-to. It's a good bourbon. You know, the notes really had me going there and now I'm just like, it's, it's good. It's not Jefferson's trash, but I drink it. That's all I'm gonna say about Jefferson's Ocean. It's a good whiskey, it's a good bourbon. On the price, uh, I, no. Maybe if it was uh, in the 30s, maybe low 40s. Uh, for the bourbon itself, it gets my vote. If you guys have had any of the Jefferson's uh, lineup, go ahead and let me know in the comments below what you thought about their whiskey. If you've had anything else that you think compares to any of the Jefferson's uh, whiskeys, let me know in the comments below. Let me also know if you want anything else reviewed, anything that you have in mind, I'll be more than glad to put it on my list so that we can try it out next time. Nonetheless, guys, I'm Ozzy. This is Jefferson's Ocean Aged at Sea, and this is Bottled and Bond. Cheers.